this question gives us this equilibrium reaction. It also informs us that at equilibrium, the partial pressures of each of these substances are these numbers here. It then goes on to say that if this vessel uh, has a volume of 5 liters, then what is Kc at this temperature? Let's see if we can figure that out. Kc, as we look at this, is of course going to be equal to the product, or concentration of the product, sorry, squared, because the number 2 is the coefficient here, it becomes an exponent divided by the concentrations of the reactants, in this case NO squared, multiplied by the concentration of Cl2 to the first power. How do we determine what those concentrations are? Well, of course, concentration, as expressed here, is going to be equal to moles per liter. We have the volume, 5 liters, but how do we get the moles? Yeah, we're going to use the ideal gas law. Remember, the ideal gas law says PV equals NRT. If you rearrange that, you're going to get N on one side, that's the number of moles, equals PV divided by RT. I can do that for each individual one of these gases. I have its individual pressure, the volume is 5 liters, R is the ideal gas constant. I know the temperature is 500 Kelvin. I neglected to write that. My apologies. Let's go ahead and do that for the first gas, NO. So NO, the number of moles of NO is going to equal pressure. Well, I guess I'll PV divided by RT. Its pressure is 0 0.095 atmospheres. Its volume, of course, and the volume for all of these is going to be 5 liters. R is going to be equal to 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And then temperature is 500 Kelvin, so I'll go ahead and write that there. The liters cancel each other out, the atmospheres cancel each other out, the Kelvins cancel each other out, and I'm left with moles in the denominator of the denominator, which is in the numerator. How many moles does that come out to be? Well, for NO, that uh, comes out to be uh, 0 0.0115 moles. That is the number of moles of NO. Now, I'm going to do the same thing to determine the moles of Cl2 and the moles of Nockel. Once I've done that, I take each number of those moles and I divide it by the volume of the vessel, 5 liters. And that gives me the concentration of each one of these respective substances. I then throw each of those concentrations in here and then plug it into my calculator and voila, I should have Casey.